trip to Easter Island. So let's give her a big hand. Yes, but actually it's not daily, daily, daily flight, daily flight. 
and now I'm trying to check in the, the schedule and now the flight is cancelled. I don't know why. That is cost more, much more. And it's far uh, it's further than if we go there from the Chile. Okay. So before I introduce my my plan and my, my tour, I want to introduce the history first. I know a lot of people don't like history. But I still have to explain something, so don't go asleep, okay? Um, it was actually um, the after they try to analyze the they find some rock or some tool in Israel Island, and they use the carbon radiate uh, system to find what time is the real time that human exists on the ice. So the very first is uh, fifth century, and they start to find the residents. They actually they even find some uh, some evidence, which is proof there there exists human in three thousand years ago. And in fifth century to eleventh century, uh, this is uh, the first developed Europe, and uh, people uh, the. Uh, Architect, uh, archaeologists, they suppose the population over there will be over 20,000 people. In 11 to, uh, 11 to 15th, 15th century, um, they are getting rich, so they start to build more. And they have very clear uh, plan system, so there should be some slave to build the wall more. Um, the population is still increasing until the fifth century to seventeenth century. They get depression because the Iceland is too small, so the lack of food and they have limited natural resources. And the people is so much, so people start to lack of food and water, and they become disease or something and die. And there is a tragedy in 19, um, sorry, yes, 19th century, yes. Uh, some Caribbean, they get, they found, they found the Easter Island and they get to this island. So they catch some, they catch 1,500 people and transport them into Chile, uh, into Peru to be a slave. Even all the people, some of the people are rescued after Afterward, and return back to the island, they still face some disease, some infectious disease. So there are only uh, 111 people left in the end. Okay, so this is the map of Easter Island. You can see it's a triangle, almost a triangle. And there are three volcanoes here, here, and here. Um, the blue point is the Moai, the statue, and some of them are also the remains of the people over there. So the area is, the total area is just one, uh, 117 square kilometers, which is only half of the tiny city, so it's not very big. And all of the diameters is only 60 kilometers. Okay, so here's the uh, airport. And this is a men's square, uh, men square and all the hotel resorts and camping site is just here. Yes. Okay, so what is more? I think a lot of people know this, uh, have ever seen this statue, it's called more. So do you think there, they have a body under the ground? Yes? Yeah. You shut up. <laughs> I know you saw but yes, <laughs> So, do, oh, you were saying there, but on, on the ground. Okay. Actually, a lot of people, they try to dig, and they find out, after this, they have so huge body. And even they wear the, uh, it's not very clear, but you can see there is underwear. Underwear, history. Oh. Yes. Oh. Yeah. So they also wear, and they even have legs. Yes. So you can image how 
healthy, how huge they are. So why they why they build this this mall? For what purpose? Uh, actually, all of the answer is just hypothesis. Uh, the expert they cannot make sure which is correct. But some people say they build this building, uh, not building, that statue to respect their, their ancestors. Mm -hmm. Yes, and they believe uh, they built this statue according to the shape of the ancestor, and they believe um, they will protect them forever. Yes. So um, they have different size, but it's around 20 to 40 meters tall for a statue, and 5 to 20 meters in height. So you can image how huge it is. But it's very um, people are uh, expert try to try to stimulate how to move this uh, this statue from the factory. Here is. We call it is the Moai factory. This is the volcano, so all of the Moai built from here. But you can see it's located all around the island. So it's far from maybe it's 10 kilometers or more. So how can they use, uh, how can they move the Moai from factory to this place? They don't have truck, they don't have car. They only have uh, human power. So it's also, one of the mystery things. Yes, and I would like to share a video for you. Can you help me to play? Um, maybe 10 or 20 years ago, uh, some experts tried to try to use three locks, three locks, to move this one, and they find it works. <laughs> yes, and actually, it's smaller. It, this one is only five, five tons. It's blindfolded. <laughs> it's very cute. <laughs> but it's working. And they try to move it for 10 kilometers. And it's all, only five tons. So you can picture if they move 40 meters tall, how huge, how many people they have to use. Um, uh, they try to also they try to calculate uh, if there is 30 human power, 30 people work eight hours per day. They have to spend one year to build one more, and it's not including to move the more from here to everywhere. So you can picture how huge how huge uh, plant it is. Um, because they have very clear uh, class system, so all the, maybe it was built by the um, slave, and the king asked the slave to build it to respect all of their ancestors. And most of the Moai, they are facing inside. There are only seven statues facing outside. Mm, I will explain later. Um, because there was an uh, um, earthquake attack in Chile in 1916. So it attacked a tsunami, tsunami, uh, tsunami to hit uh, its island. So all of the Moai is fall down. But Japanese, they tried to rebuild some of them in 1990. So now you can see some Moai stand up. But a lot of Moai still fall down. So how to plan your trip? First, you have to get a ticket, which is very expensive. And when you get a ticket, so you have to stay there more than three days. If you want to be more relaxed, just stay there maybe one week. Yes. Um, they have a lot of a tour tour agency. So if you don't want to go there by yourself, just attend the tour agency. And this is all the way you can uh, travel around this island. So I choose to attend tour package, which is one day tour. And you can also run a car, run bicycle, run bike, or horse riding, and something like that. And I also go 
uh, go by walking and hitchhiking. Um, it's also the most beautiful place for diving. So if you have scuba, scuba diving license, I highly recommend you to enjoy the scuba diving over there. Um, the food, the food at restaurant is really, really expensive. Unless you go there for honeymoon or for your vacation, I recommend you bring your own food and water by yourself. For me, I bring maybe four days food food over there. So I didn't I didn't eat anything at any restaurant there. So I cannot recommend any restaurant. Yes. Um, this is the uh, day one, uh, my day, uh, first day in the Eastern Island because I took the plant it's arrived it's an island around six o'clock in the morning. Um, because there is there is a lot of camping sites um, resort and hotel but there is no hostel. So if you go there in high season you have to book in advance. But I went there in in rainy season so there's a lot of you can choose. And if you go out to the airport, there is a lot of um, people from, a lot of snake from the hotel. And you can very easy to check the price and the, the place, the distance. So they will arrange all the tour, uh, all the place for you. Um, first day, because I went there in rainy days, so I was very lucky. The first day is sunny day. So I choose to join the tour group, which is a one day tour, um, from this place. The bus go for the, the east coast. And we start here to eat lunch. And we go back. Like this. So it's one day tour. And including the food, water, and tour guide. Let's coast. Uh, 25,000 to pesos is around 2,000 dollars. So it's okay. Okay, it's not very expensive. And you can see all of the Moai's go down. But the Japanese didn't rebuild it because there was too, there is too many. Oh, and this, the red rock is not their head. Not their head, it's their hair. Yeah. Hair. Yes. But a lot of people say it's head. It's not, it's not correct. And we also get a list called Ranora. Okay, whatever. Ranora. <laughs> which is called the Moai Factory. All of the Moai built in this area. So you can see they didn't move it because some reason they didn't finish it. And in this place, there are around 397 moai in this factory. And all of them are really, really huge. So maybe the experts say, maybe it's because they are too huge, so they cannot move it to the coast coastline. So you can also see there is some um, more unfinished, mm -hmm. just start on the rock. And this is also a very famous place because they have 15 more along the coastline. Um, in because it's triangle, so in the left. Uh, in the right triangle, there is a beach, very beautiful beach. Um, so a lot of people like play water here and enjoy the sunsets. Oh, and in this beach, you can see this moai, which is revealed, also revealed by Japanese. So my second day, I choose to walk, walking around this island. Start from here. And there is a very famous moai called Abu Tahai. So, but mo most of them are just break. 
And this one is very famous because not many more they have eyes. They die, uh, they paint this eye by Caro. But um, some, you can see in the factory, in the Moai factory, oh, they are not, uh, they don't have eyes because they only paint when they set, set, uh, rate, uh, set, set up this Moai ready. This is this four this four more is I told you before because there are uh, only seven more face outside and this four statue is this more because there is a legend um, a king when he, he dreamed about uh, one day he dreamed about there is an island very beautiful so he asked four people uh, not four people seven people to find. Is there the island real exists? So there are four people that try to find this place. So the uh, the people the people they try to respect the four people. So they build this one uh, which is facing outside. Uh, this is the only one more which have left. So you can see they he is they, Kneeing on the wall. This one is very special. And this place is here. Uh, this is also a factory of the hair. So all the mountain with the red rocks. So it's, you can picture, they have to move the rocks to everywhere and put to the top. So it should be a very huge, huge uh, good things to finish and cause a lot of uh, spend a lot of human labors. My third day, I went to the Orango, which is placed in the uh, World Heritage. It's a volcano. So you can see there is a lot of remains here. And also the, the carp here. And it's a, uh, oh, you have a pay the ticket to enter it. So there are two places you have to pay the ticket. One, of, one is the more factory, the other one is this place. And all the tickets are very, very expensive. For the more factory, I spent $2,000. And this is $1,000. Um, because I finished all of the visit of mine, so the the four day I try to enjoy the beautiful sea by walking again. Yes, and this is the sun, sunset. And I got a very strange period, a uh, very special experience because I try to walk around this island. But you can see it's very huge, so I get tired. And then I try to make hitchhiking, but unfortunately, because there is not very tourist at that time, so I cannot find any car. Then the people kept here. Yeah, the people drive this car, and he I cannot speak Spanish, but he knows he understand. I, I want to do hitchhiking, so he tried to let me onto the car, but unfortunately. Drive to the, out, the opposite way, so I get closer. <laughs> and because I have to get my airplane air, uh, air flight in the afternoon, so I was so nervous. But I cannot try to communicate with him. But it's a very uh, special experience. Yes. So I spent four day over there, and it's a really amazing experience. If you want to join, if you want to visit this place. I recommend you to save your money and read more history of this place. Yes. Thank you for your attention. <laughs> Here is a model of the, the statue so you can pass. That's another gift. <laughs> okay. Any question? What's the major transportation? Uh, you mean uh, how to how to transportation people to their transportation? Car. car, just car. Just car. Yes, and some people ride a bicycle, but the road is not really safe. It's very rocky, so most.
lot of people, they, they go there and rent a car. But I suggest the backpacker to go together because it's very expensive. Yes. So there are, there are no buses. No buses. Okay. Unless you join the, the tour. No one must be right. <laughs> oh, good question. <laughs> good question. How do the people make their living? Uh, most of the farmers. industries, um, some of them are farmers, but most of the people they are just tour guides. Yes.